In Asia and the Pacific, roads are the lifelines connecting people to opportunity, to each other, and to a brighter future. By 2030, an estimated 8 million kilometres of new roads are needed to provide access and enable development. But at what cost? Roads contribute to 18% of global energy-related carbon dioxide emissions and significantly affect our landscapes, water systems and biodiversity. It's time for a change. This is why we have developed the ADB Green Roads Toolkit. It provides a framework for identifying and integrating environmentally sustainable practices that can be tailored to the context of each project and country. From decarbonisation to fostering inclusive growth, the Green Roads Toolkit encompasses around 150 best practices across nine critical areas. It will guide project teams in recommending interventions that support the alignment of road investments with the Paris Agreement on Climate Change and other sustainability agendas. Here in India, we're working very closely with Government of Maharashtra to pilot a number of interventions from ADB's Green Roads Toolkit. This is part of Government of Maharashtra's program to develop its cold road network. But I think one of the really interesting components of the Green Roads Toolkit that we are demonstrating in Maharashtra is using an integrated development approach to mobilise resources um, and institutions, not only for road improvement, but also to ensure that we're developing inclusive infrastructure. So we hope to scale up the Green Roads initiatives even further on future programs in Maharashtra and to demonstrate the toolkit to other road subsector agencies here in India and also in South Asia. For my 49 kilometre road project in South Tajikistan that goes through very flat and very dry terrain, um, you know, it, it automatically prompted questions that I otherwise would not have asked. So um, some examples. Um, Director Arab Zoda, sir, um, you know, how do we successfully decommission the abandoned petrol stations? Um, what national environment standards uh, govern this exercise and, and, and which specification uh, do we modify to actually um, complete this task? Join us on this journey. Together, we can pave the way for green roads that lead to an inclusive, low carbon and resilient Asia and the Pacific.